Hey everyone, today's it is about when you have a bad fever. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You have always prided yourself on being tough, but this fever has you completely knocked out. Back ago, your fury and overprotective boyfriend is sitting by your side, worry etched across his face. Babe, you've got to take care of yourself better. He scolds. His hand gently brushing the hair off your forehead. You're burning up. You groan weakly. I know, Katsuki. Just give me a minute, okay? He huffs, clearly not satisfied with your response. You better not have caught this from someone at work. I swear if someone makes you sick, I'll blast them into next week. He managed a weak smile. No, it's just a bug, Katsuki. Nothing they explode over. He scowls but softens. Don't scare me like that. I can't stand seeing you like this, Wyon. He reached out, squeezing his hand. I appreciate the concern, Katsuki. Now, could you maybe get me some water? My throat feels like it's on fire. Bakugo nods, rushing to the kitchen. He returns with a glass of water and a concerned look. Here, drink this. And take your damn medicine. Don't play tough with me right now. You give him a grateful smile. You're my hero, Katsuki. Don't get sappy on me, dumbass. He mutters, but there's a small smile tugging at the corners of his lips. As you sip the water, you can't help but feel grateful for Baka's presence. His tough exterior may scare others, but you know that the soft tide that is reserved just for you. Marco sits back down, his eyes never leaving you. You better rest up. I don't want you pushing yourself. You chuckle weakly. Yes, Dr. Bakugo. He smirks. Damn right. Now close your eyes and sleep here. I'll be right back. Throughout the night, Bakugo remains by your side. He fetches some more water, checks your temperature and even prepares a simple meal to make sure that you eat something. I hate seeing you like this. He admits. His hand gently tracing circles on your back as you lie in bed. You reach for his hand. I'll be fine, Katsuki. Just having you here makes it better. He grumbles. Better not make a habit out of getting sick, idiot. You chuckle. I'll do my best. The next morning... You wake up feeling considerably better. Bakugo, who had dozed off in the chair, immediately snaps awake. Finally woke up, huh? He says, and the relief in his voice. Yeah, thanks to you. He reply, setting up. He scoffs. Don't get all sentimental on me. I just did what anybody would do. You pull him into a hug. Maybe but not everyone is as amazing as you, Katsuki. He grumbles something incoherent, but doesn't resist the affection. You know underneath that explosive personality is a boyfriend who cares deeply for you. As you spend the day recovering, Bakugo insists on pampering you, from making you tea to fluffing up your pillows. He was determined to ensure that you're completely back on your feet. All right, you've had enough rest. Time to get up and move around. He declares, helping you stand. You laugh. Bossy, aren't we? Just looking out for you, you dumbass. He replies, a rare softness in his eyes. And as you go about your day, you can't help but feel grateful for Rocco's love and care. Even though he might not admit it completely, he knew that he would go to great length to keep you safe and healthy. But he unfolds with Bakugo hovering over you, making sure that you're not overexerting yourself. He insists on preparing a hearty, nutritious meal to speed up your recovery. Eat up. You need your strength. He instructs, placing a plate in front of you. He raised an eyebrow, teasing him. Well...
Are you sure that you're not just playing nurse? Katsuki, he scowls. Don't push it, you damn idiot. I just wanted to get back to your annoying, healthy self. This boy takes your F exterior. His actions spoke louder than words. He appreciated the effort that he's putting into taking care of you, and it warms your heart. As the day progresses, Bakugo finds various ways to keep you entertained and distracted from your lingering illness. Whether it's bringing you your favorite snacks, setting up a movie marathon, or even challenging you to a round of video games, he was determined to keep your spirits high. You can't be sick and moping around. We're gonna beat this damn fever together. He declares, a competitive gleam in his eyes. You playfully roll your eyes. All right, Dr. Bakugo, whatever you say. He smirks. Damn right. The evening approaches, and as you start feeling more like yourself, Bakugo even suggests a short walk to get some fresh air. He insists on holding your hand, not letting go, even for a second. You're not getting out of my sight. He says, a grip, firm, yet reassuring. As you stroll through the park, you can't tell but marvel at the contrast between Bako's explosive hero persona and the gentle, caring side that he shows only to you. The sun sets, casting a warm glow on the both of you, and you realize just how lucky you are to have him in your life. Back home, Bako sets up a cozy blanket for it in the living room. This is your fortress, until you're feeling better. He announces, proudly. You laugh, settling into the makeshift forest. I feel safer already. He joins you, wrapping his arm around you. You better. No more getting sick, got it? You nod. Got it, Captain Bakugo. He smirks. Well, that's a bit more like it. The night passes peacefully and you find yourself falling asleep in Bako's arms. As you drift off to sleep, you can't help but reflect on the events of the day, realizing that sometimes, vulnerability brings out the best in people. In the days that follow, Bako continues to be by your side, ensuring your full recovery. His tough love approach, mixed with moments of unexpected tenderness, becomes a comforting routine. As the last remnants of the fever finally fade away, you can't help but appreciate the love and care that Bakugo showered upon you. The experience has brought you closer, creating a bond that goes beyond the explosive earwax. And the exterior. With Bakugo, you know that you have a partner who will stand by you, whether it's battling villains or conquering a simple fever. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.